guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. I am Kylie and I'm 25. I'm engaged, getting married next fall. Sorry, my dog is drinking water. And happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving and I thought I would vlog today and bring you along. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be like talking because I want to actually spend the day with my family. Actually, not my family. I'm with Will's family today. But, you know, I I don't think I've ever really done, like, a Thanksgiving vlog. I've done, like, Black Friday content, but never, like, Thanksgiving stuff. So, thought I'd bring you guys along today. It's actually 12. Um, I had to work today. I didn't have to. But I have some deadlines that I've needed to meet and I work alongside with like a Canadian team and they don't have off today and so I had to send some of my stuff to them to audit while I'm on break so I needed to finish that all up so I logged on this morning to finish that all up and send it to them so I worked a little bit this morning even though I like shouldn't have <laughs> so woke Will up because he was still sleeping and then I was like all right let's get going and then we decided that we wanted to make like a corn casserole and we always go to Starbucks on Thanksgiving morning. We actually normally do a turkey trot but this year it's obviously COVID and there is no turkey trot so we decided to go get our Starbucks so we just picked that up. I got a vanilla cream cold brew and then I got peppermint instead of vanilla so I'm drinking that and then we also went to the grocery store to pick up stuff to make our corn casserole. So that is kind of what's going on. That's why it's like 12 and I've been told that I need to be ready by 1 to help his mom set the table and stuff. So I'm going to start getting ready and pretty much it. I've already showered for the day so I just need to do my makeup. I need to put on my outfit for Thanksgiving. I'm going to do my makeup and I'll check back in in a bit okay so the majority of my makeup is done i just need to like add the setting spray how cute is this bottle i just got it from ulta maybe it's just like a holiday one i'm not sure but i thought it was really pretty so i got this one instead of the normal one because i was out of mine and my hair needs some help i just washed it yesterday so like purposefully because i wanted to curl it today I don't like curling my hair on like first day washed hair, if that makes any sense. I feel like I look crazy. Like I feel like I look like I have a crazy lot of makeup on because I never wear makeup. I'm going to curl my hair. I'm just warming up my... Oh, it's done. I just started it. <laughs> okay. I use my T3 wand. I like to use this one most of the time. And yeah, I'm just going to brush my hair and then put some dry shampoo in it even though... I just washed it yesterday, mostly for volume. Sorry if you hear my dog whining in the background. One of Will's brothers just showed up and he has a dog and she knows that the dog is here so she's just like being a little much right now. This is the dry shampoo I've been using lately. It's the Not Your Mother's. It's just the normal coconut one. I think this is the normal one. I think they actually maybe have an unscented one but I'm gonna use this one and continue watching YouTube and do my hair. Okay guys, so my hair is done. It looks very curly now, but I'm going to hairspray it and make it look less curly by running my fingers through it and you know the deal. It's done. I'm gonna go change and then do like the final touches on my makeup like lipstick and I think I forgot to put highlighter on. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be ready for the day. I'm gonna try this transition and see if it works where I do like the the snap thing. So. Let's see if that works. I don't know if that transition worked, but I am done getting ready now. I kind of loosened up my hair, so it'll fall more throughout the day. I put on this lovely lipstick. It's my favorite. It's this one. And it's in the shade Beso. It's my favorite lipstick to wear around the holidays. I just think it's such a festive color. I'm going to head down now, now that I'm ready, spend some time with family. Maybe I'll get some clips of food and stuff like that. I also need to make my corn casserole, but this is the final fit. 
with my leather leggings and my booties. These are from Target. And this top I actually got at TJ Maxx like maybe two or three years ago. And it's just long enough to cover like the butt area. I'm gonna head down and enjoy the day. We have some appetizers set up. They look really nice. Oh, and I haven't told you guys, but they just redid their house. And so it looks a lot different than it used to. It's now all white instead of like dark. It's okay. Will and I are going to prepare our corn casserole. They didn't have creamed corn, so we're just gonna do normal corn. And it takes this, this. Oh, and I need to get the butter out. All right, let's go. Cheers. I'm trying this. I haven't had this one yet. It's actually 6.43. To be honest, I just showered, put on my PJs, and I just took off all of my makeup for the day. I feel great. I put on moisturizer and, oh, I need to put on my jewelry. Where did I put my ring? I had a good Thanksgiving so far. I guess the day isn't over, so I can't really say that it's been a, like, full great day. I just wanted to recap today. Since I haven't checked back in, we had dinner. We had a salad as like our starter, which is always so good. Raspberry vinaigrette with like a spring mix and there's pears and grapes and pistachios and it is so good. I like to make it not just on Thanksgiving because it's like my favorite salad ever. We normally start off with that salad and then we go back and we fill up our plates with everything on the bar that we like set out and everything like that and we had turkey. We had um like the sweet potato and carrot like mash stuff and then I made the corn souffle. We had stuffing gravy we had what else was there i don't know i forgot to get a clip of the actual food because i was just so like concerned with eating the food i was so hungry because i didn't eat all day <laughs> i did get a clip of all the desserts and those looked phenomenal there was like this cake but like it was like a pie like different layers of pie and cake it was so interesting and it was pretty good that's what i had for dessert yeah i am stuffed and i think this is the first Thanksgiving in a while that I can actually say that I've, I'm like stuffed for good. And um, that's good. I just got a bottle of water and I'm going to drink this. I think I'm going to get on my iPad and start looking at some deals. Maybe I might shop a little bit. And I think tomorrow we might go on like a long walk with everyone. Will has to work. So unfortunately he might have to stay back. But yeah, I'm going to go relax with everyone. I just showered and rinsed off and got on my jammies because maybe we'll watch a movie i think honestly they also mentioned maybe going in the hot tub as well so i'm just gonna go see what everyone's doing and so far thanksgiving has been good nice and relaxing i will 
talk to you guys later. Hello guys. So I thought that I would be ending the vlog off tonight already, but we watched a movie and we are actually heading to bed soon, but I was sitting watching the movie and I realized I actually wasn't watching the movie. I was on my iPad trying to online shop. Well, they watched the movie. They watched Batman. Yeah. It was disturbing. <laughs> to say the least. I wasn't that interested in it, so I decided to just go on my iPad and work on Christmas shopping. But I was sitting there and I realized I completely neglected to put in my Thanksgiving vlog uh, a part that I wanted to put in. What part? What are we most thankful for this Thanksgiving? Aww. And I feel like we should put that in because Thanksgiving is about being with family. It's about being thankful and recognizing what you're thankful for. I like to write that in my journal every day, like recognizing what I'm thankful for. But I think also think about the bigger picture too, like, and take a moment to also think about what you're thankful for. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You kind of caught me on the spot, I wasn't. I know. <laughs> I haven't even thought about mine, I, so I, I like to just kind of do it on the spot. Do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? I have tons of things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for family and friends that are supportive in my life. I'm thankful to be able to, um, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm thankful for a lot of things. I just... I'm thankful for my dog, thankful for you, of course, and all the many things you do for me, mm. and just being supportive in my life. I'm thankful that I was able to see my family for Thanksgiving, and that we were still safe wearing masks and stuff, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. <laughs> I think what I'm most thankful for this year is for good health for mm -hmm. people that are close to me and just for a lot of people that I know. And I obviously wish good health for everyone. But I think this year especially, it's hard because obviously with like COVID and everything, I just like, I wanna be thankful for everyone to be in good health and just to cherish these moments that we can spend with our family because it has been hard not being able to see them as much as we would like to see them, you know, going those extra months without seeing grandma and yeah. grandpa and stuff like that. So thankful as well that we got to spend Thanksgiving with our family this year. Well, with your family, yeah. but I do consider them my family as well. And thankful that we still, we still get to live in a really nice place, even though it's not our home. Yeah, just thankful that we are able to, uh, you know, save money each month. I'm thankful that we're getting to save to be in our future home and although it's not exactly where we would like to be right now, it's not where we want to be like celebrating Christmas or Thanksgiving, like we would rather have people come to us and yeah. you know celebrate our first Thanksgiving in our home. I mean, we're just we're thankful that we have the ability to still have a home to stay but I in. Think, and I think at the end of the day like if you don't make sacrifices in life, then you won't achieve your goals. Yeah, for sure. So, for I, sure. Think, I look at it like, kind of as like, necessary in a way, like, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not really accomplishable to like, live in an apartment, then I go straight from, like, it's, it is accomplishable, it's just like, if you want, if you truly have a goal of like, having a certain house or just yeah. being somewhere in your life, almost always you'll need to take sacrifices, so. Yeah, I agree with that. And to add on to that, I think I'm thankful for everyone that's helping us with the wedding. And mm -hmm. I know that's next fall, but I mean, it kind of plays into right now because we're planning it right now. And really just to sum everything up, I'm just really thankful for everyone in our lives that mm -hmm. have been supportive and yeah. who have been there along the way this year and all the years in the past. And... We couldn't thank you enough and we just like to take a moment to reflect on it every year and yeah. if we don't tell you enough we love you guys mm. and we know the ones that mean the most to us are probably watching this video <laughs> anyways <laughs> just be thankful for what you have too and make sure to not just have this be one day of being thankful but every day right of course yeah but yeah and of course 
The cool. Miko Mai. Yes, lady. Sorry. We're thankful for you every day. Because you're our little lady. She's like, what is going on, mom? Okay, so that was just something that I thought about that I was like, I did not put this in my video today. And it was just something on my heart that I needed to put in it. So thank you for listening. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.